Hello everybody and welcome to this week's episode of Dust Bite. And on popular demand, we decided to crack on with some more DOS Bite DOS box information and talk about that little program, go into a bit more detail and just look at roughly how to use it as on popular demand, you guys seem to enjoy the, the last video we made on DOS box and uh, it's had some nice feedback. So I just thought it'd be nice to do a bit more about that. So I'm going to knock it to full screen, which I will edit in post. Um, and this is DOS box. I always struggle to say that now because I'm so used to saying DOS by. But anyway, <laughs> um, so this is the, the main menu, if you will, or how it starts. And for those of you that know DOS, you'll know it looks much more basic than Windows because back then everything was done by keyboard and all that jazz. Um, so this is how it sort of starts and you have to type in all the commands and all that jazz. Now what we'd massively recommend, um, actually I might even just show you that um, briefly, is if you go to your C drive and just make a subfolder, and I'll explain why in a moment, called games or whatever you want to call it, but you tend to use it for games mainly. And uh, just made that there because we're going to make a safe spot so we don't accidentally damage anything on the computer. So before you do anything, I would do this. So you type in mount C to C colon space C to C colon backslash games. And hopefully that has mounted that directory, can't say that word, and we are safe to go. So if we type in DIR, that's what we don't want to look at. That just shows DOS uh, box. <laughs> I'm really struggling to say that naturally. Anyway, so if you go to uh, C colon, usually capital, and we're now on the C drive or our pretend C drive and type in DIR, we should have um, are directly there it is so i've just made up a couple of folders to pretend they're games dos by hello i've just made that up on wordstar which some of you may know um is a very old word processing program that we talked about in a previous video so feel free to check it out and if you're getting value so far for this video don't forget to like and subscribe now another thing that you might want to do for those of you that are in your sort of late 20s early 30s sort of how like i am um, you might want to mount your disk drive if you have a disk drive because I know they're becoming less popular now uh, But if you're into retro gaming the likelihood you probably do have some sort of disk drive if not getting a sterner one And I'm going to show you now how to mount that the easy way now just make sure you know what letter it is um, pre to go in DOS um, On this particular computer it's E I hope <laughs> So we do mount let's see if I can remember this I've got my little code because it's quite complex sort of so it's mount E and bear in mind This is whatever letter yours is because back in the day it used to always be D um, So it's D. I'm just looking at my little pad because I can never remember off the top of my head <laughs> D backslash Minus T don't worry too much and this is basically just telling um, This is DOS box has been told where it is what the uh, drive is, where it is, and how it's going to use it. So it's basically saying, use the CD-ROM, please. And then we're doing minus use CD-ROM. And now, in theory, we can have a look at that. So we can go to D, D colon, and there it is. It says it doesn't exist, but that's only because um, there's nothing in it in the minute. Um, but basically from there you can have a look at it and all that jazz so you can see and it's probably because I've typed in D the old-fashioned way so bear with me uh, E to E colon forward slash minus T CD-ROM use CD there we go yeah, okay failure drive letters multiple ah Okay, that's interesting. Probably because we've already used that. But th that's the basic drive um, principle. If we go back to C then and type in DIR, I'll just show some of the things. So this is my directly for the made up games. Um, on my other computer, uh, which is sort of my mess around throat gaming computer, I have loads of games. So please put, put, put in the comments below what old games you like to play in DOS on our either an old retro computer or in DOSBox. I tend to play things like Prince of Persia, Doom, sometimes the original Quake, that I do have that remastered now on Steam. Um, things like Secret Agent, or as I call it, Sam. 
Um, what else do I play? Um, it's more like Prince of Persia, Steel Empire. Uh, I've got a game called Face, which is just like little faces bouncing around the screen. You may have seen that on the other episode. Um, and all that sort of jazz. Um, really cool little feature, actually. If you type in help, he says, it will give you the basically the codes you have to type in to help you so dir as of that shows you what's inside that folder um cd displays changes are coming directly that's cool clear screen let's try that then so cls there we go we've got a nice clean screen that's quite a handy thing to know uh, just type in help it's just a very handy thing to know copy copy files um, i must admit i never often do that because i tend to do that on windows but if you want to do it here you can um, if you want to remove files um del delete exit exit from the shell um make directly md that's cool so if you want to make your own folders they call them directories in dos um, but nowadays we just call them folders um, remove directly rd rename one of the files ren that's cool i'm just reading it off the screen here uh and type display the content of text files and view and set reported dos vision so that's pretty cool those little cool little features there um i'm pretty sure though if you type in more help though it didn't do this earlier for some reason because it says on the top um that it does it but it doesn't <laughs> so what's a really cool thing to know then so if i go to um dir again and then we type in let's do cd backslash word star this is an old program uh, that we used before um so we're inside that folder now and if we type in dir we'll be inside it and here's all the files and as you can see there's too many for one page so if you type in dir forward slash p you'll be able to get page by page and if you're looking at old games i personally tend to install them before it's just easier or if not inside um you just want to look for a bat file so what you want to really look for though this is probably really old if you look for the zet um, an exe file or a bat uh, a lot of old games would use bats just bat um, and that would tend to start the install program and most programs will have just a, an install file and then it'll go into like it'll blue install or it just install and actually you put in comments below actually what's your favorite game to install mine believe it or not is worms because when you install worms it does this little thing where it explodes all the worms as it's installing just like pfft. I don't know, it's just really cool. I just think it's a really cool little feature. But to install a game, that's the easy way to do it. Or some really old games don't even need installing. Um, I've got like a Space Invader type game. You literally just press run and it just goes. Or you just type in the name. Um, and sometimes I, I might install in Windows just because it's easier. And that sort of jazz. So this gives you like the basic sort of, you know, work around how to use DOSBox. It's a brilliant little emulator, brilliant program. If you want to play old DOS games or just old games in general. Uh, if I'm using CD, actually, it'll be for things like Worms and uh, one of my favourite old football games, FIFA 97. Um, thumbs up if you remember that. If you're getting value from today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, that goes massively to supporting the channel. And if you want to, want to support the growing channel even more, we do have a Buy Dave a Coffee. And there's a link to that in the description as well as merchandise. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Dave from uh, DOSBite. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your day. I hope you got value from today's video. Feel free to ask your questions in the comments below. And I'm going to leave you two end cards that I'm going to give you even more value.